What's up guys? Welcome back to Orms TV. Today I have something really incredible. Really, really incredible. If you can't tell by how excited I am, oh man, what a trip. So today Canon is announcing this little camera that I am recording on right now. It is the all new Canon PowerShot V10 and it is Canon's take on the perfect vlogging camera. And I'm gonna show you guys what this little beauty is capable of. And more specifically, in about five minutes time, I am getting on that bad boy back there, going on a little flight out over Nizna. It is Samola hill climb. We are in Nizna. It is absolutely incredible. And this little camera is the perfect tool to take with you on all your vlogging adventures. So come, let's have a look. So yes, that is the PowerShot V10, absolutely brand spanking new camera. And yes, that was recording it out of a helicopter over the racetrack right here at Samola. Absolutely phenomenal. The footage looks great. And that is pretty much precisely what this little camera is made for. Now, if you have a look at how I have it set up here, you have the little camera inside of a little cage. So this cage is specially designed by Small Rig for the unit itself and you'll be able to get it in a little bundle like this but let's forget about the cage for a second and just focus on the camera so in the front here you have a fixed lens so it's an f 2.8 and in terms of the width you're looking at about a 20 millimeter focal length on this unit which is kind of perfect for the angle that you want when you're doing that vlogging style setup and of course the little flip out screen Perfect for recording in a horizontal orientation, or if you want to go portrait, does that as well. Absolutely perfectly. On the back here, you have a flip out handle. Perfect for recording yourself, flipping it over. Absolutely bang on little design. Very simple, very clean. Single button operation here to start and stop recording. And on the back, you have some controls for your interface. But really this camera is designed to be operated in a semi-automatic fashion. And there's a car coming, so. <laughs> in terms of the operation of this unit, very much designed around an automatic operation. So once the unit is powered on, you have minimal controls on the screen, but it is touchscreen and you can do manual override. In terms of the specifications though, we've got a one inch sensor. So very similar to what Canon did a couple of years ago with the G7X and that line of cameras. So the quality that you get out of it is actually really excellent given the size. Now, when you do your manual overrides, you can of course control your shutter speed, your aperture, your ISO, and your sound controls on this. But what is really nice is that you are getting a clean 4K 30 out of this unit. You can bump up your frame rate if you're dropping down to full HD, um, but I'm not completely sure what the maximum frame rate is because the specs are still a little bit under development at the time of filming this. But maybe we'll get full HD 120, that's kind of the rumblings that I'm hearing. And if that is true, perfect. What more do you really need out of something at this size? On the top here, you've got stereo mics, and the directionality on these microphones is actually really good. But if you don't want to use that, you do have a mic input, and that is excellent for adding external sound, especially if you couple it with the little small rig cage, have your units on the side, microphone in, absolutely perfect. You also have an HDMI out, and yes, it will output a clean 4K via the HDMI. On the side over here, USB-C for charging, nice and quick, internal battery in terms of the battery life i've been recording with it and i'm averaging about an hour and 15 hour and 20 minutes recording which is really excellent you get that about half an hour's charge and you're ready to rock and roll again 
It's a really excellent little setup. In terms of where this camera is positioned, so Canon really wants to appeal to that simpler vlogging setup. And let's be honest, this is kind of perfect for that. Sometimes you see a concept camera and you think, oh, you know, what were they thinking? Where were they going with it? But in terms of this setup, I kind of get where they're at, you know? What do you do when you normally want to record yourself and you don't want to have a big bulky camera with you, eh? You take one of these things out and you have a go. The problem with this is if you want to record while viewing yourself, you're using a tiny, tiny little camera. You're not using the nice cameras on the rear. And that's where this comes into play. Small enough to fit into your pocket, jacket pocket, anything. Perfect for that. You flip out your screen and you're ready to go. You have the width that you need. You have the quality that you need. And you can see yourself very, very easily. It's also a lot easier to plug external audio into this than it is into something like an iPhone. Even the Android phones now with the USB-C socket just becomes another thing that you have to carry around. With this straight in mini jack, no problem. Absolutely bang on. And you guys have seen the video footage. It's good. For the size of this little thing, it's good. And at the end of the day, man, that's absolutely perfect for your YouTube setup, your Facebook videos, your Insta stories. What more do you need? Tiny, compact, always with you. I think Canon might have a winner on their hands here.